Buenos dias, I'm Lily Rubio, and today we're talking about the juicy conversation. Does it get harder to lose weight after 40? Grab your water, take a sip, because we're going for a ride. Let's go. Let me start off by saying I'm not an expert. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't have any science backed up information for all this stuff. I'm just sharing with you my experience as an active fit mom for the last six years and what changes I have seen in my body since turning the ripe age of 41. I'm 41 now. But all right, so I got started on my fitness uh, about six years ago consistently. I've always been active growing up. I was a cheerleader, a gymnast, would run occasionally, but I was never a gym buff until I had my kids. 10 years ago, I started doing P90X, started doing home workouts and um, became a fitness coach and I help women get fit and healthy. And I've been doing that beautifully for the last six years. It wasn't until two years ago, right around the time that I turned 40, that things just didn't work the way that it did. In the beginning, I felt like, not that it was easy because I started moving my body consistently. I did change my eating habits. I stopped snacking at night. I was eating better foods, but I really just like did that. Like ate good, moved my body. It didn't feel hard. I wasn't super restrictive. If I wanted something, I had it. Like I had a very healthy relationship with food and guys, I lost weight. I did a T25 was my first fitness program. My body completely transformed. I put on muscle, looked good, felt good, felt good in a bikini, all the things. And that pretty much continued. Now, I do want to say that about three years ago, I did have my boobs done. And there is a lot of talk about boobs causing weight gain. Um, but the thing is, like through breast plant illness, I have thought about that. But... Um, I don't know. There could be a connection, but I feel no other symptoms. I feel I don't feel like crap. I have high energy. I don't have brain fog. Like there's a million things um, for breast plant illness. I personally don't feel any of those. So I wouldn't remove these simply because of weight gain, you know, um, but it's something to consider and something to think about um, if you've tried all the things. So about two years ago is when I started seeing that shift in my body. And I'm about to be 42, so it makes sense. Like, right when I hit 40, I'm like, how could it be such clockwork that right when I hit 40, like, all of a sudden things weren't working? So back in the day, like, there was, in 2018, I was asked to be part of this test group with Beachbody for this new fitness program coming out. And I followed the meal plan to the T. It was only three weeks, okay? This wasn't, like, 12 weeks, 90 days. It was three weeks. I followed the meal plan to the T. And I did the workouts, just 25 to 30, 40 minute workouts, and my body changed. Here are my results, like I saw major transformation. So fast forward to last year, 2019, I did start seeing changes in my body. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back and do that meal plan I did in 2018. And nothing happened. I did the meal plan, no changes in my body, no changes in the scale. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this other thing that worked for me, you know, last year. Again, no changes in my body. And so that just kind of got me really frustrated and sent me down this really unhealthy, dark path of just negative thoughts, but like hating my body, being frustrated with weight gain, crying over the, the, the loss of my body. You know, I've made videos about um, my weight gain and, and stuff like that. And I really had to just come to a place where I'm like, okay, I have to match like what I'm doing with my life with how I feel because I, or what I'm doing in my life, like I love, I love it. I'm active, I eat yummy foods, I come up with yummy creations. Like I love my lifestyle. I love that we go out on the weekends, me, my husband, my kids, like we, this is our lifestyle and I love it. But somehow I was just, my joy was being taken away because um, I was gaining weight and I'm like, no, this, I, I don't want that. Just because I'm gaining weight doesn't mean that I don't love my lifestyle. And so I, I had to do this whole uh, healing of the mind to really just come to a place of acceptance. Now, I used to struggle with, is acceptance settling? Can I just like get back on a meal plan and try and see and the answer is yes, 100%. Like if you want a certain physique, you gotta work for it. You can't just think that like, I really wanna make a million dollars. Boom, a million dollars. Like you gotta go put in the work. So if you really want those million dollars, would you just think that you could like do, 
you know, $100 activities and think that you're going to make a million dollars, like that would be crazy. So if you really want to see those physique changes, but from a place maybe of like just seeing what your body is capable, then challenge yourself, go for it. But if it's driving you crazy and those last 10 pounds are stealing your joy and you still have a little bit of fluff and you just can't live with it, like you, there comes a point, you guys, where you have to understand your genetics. You have to understand um, hormones and different factors in your body. And you, you don't settle, you still live your best life. You still go out there and be active and healthy, but you, you maybe have, you, you change your expectations. Like maybe you don't need to look like that fit 20 year old that you keep comparing your 40 year old body to, you know? So does turning 40 make it harder to lose weight? I'm going to say yes. That's the short answer five minutes into this video. It does because I could just say from my experience, things that used to work that would give me those quick like results. I could see a difference like right away, just, you know, buckling down on my nutrition. It isn't working anymore not the way it used to at least and there are certain factors like maybe like i said i did go and get all my levels checked my thyroid you know and i definitely recommend that you do that thank you playing obviously you want to make sure that there isn't anything inherently wrong but the reality is it just gets harder it does so does that mean we give up and throw in the towel absolutely not we got to keep trying we got to keep doing different things you have to look into different methods see what has worked for other people i'm currently trying out just a, a few little changes in my training and my nutrition um just to see just to see and tweak because i'm not going to give up like i still love this lifestyle i love what i'm doing but i'm doing it from a different like I'm not going to have my joy taken away. I'm not going to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm fat because it's, I'm fat. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to cry about this anymore, okay? It has been a very frustrating last year and a half, but I, I drew the line in the sand. I'm like, that is it. I love my lifestyle and I'm not going to be miserable every day when I'm literally doing things that I love, moving my body, eating good foods, spending time with my family. Like, why am I going to be miserable every day? Uh, because I have a few little love handles. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and check out your levels. Make sure, and I'm not a, a pro in this. There's definitely people that talk about this, like checking your thyroid, checking your testosterone, your estrogen. Um, there's just different things to look for. Um, again, if you're not feeling well, definitely look into that. Like there's a lot of autoimmune diseases that people just start feeling like crap. I definitely don't feel like that. So anyways, um, like I said, the short answer is yes, it's harder, but we don't give up, ladies. And I am going to be sharing with you all along the way because I'm still determined to just see some changes in my body with some of the new things that I'm doing. And I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I like I, I love this lifestyle. Um, but yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Have you experienced that it's different? I mean, there could be other factors involved, like maybe uh, we're more in denial. Maybe we don't care as much. Maybe we're just like, you know what? It's not worth it to just like always be restricting yourself, you know, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I I'm going to see. I mean, there's plenty of women that have gotten fit after 40, so it's not like it's impossible. And oh, wait, that is the last thing that I wanted to share with you is your mindset. I refuse, refuse, refuse to myself oh i'm 40 it's just harder like it's because i'm 40 like i'm not singing that song i'm definitely not singing that song um i'm mindful of it i have it right here like to have grace with myself because i mean i am older than when i started i'm six years older um, my body has gone through changes but it's not coming from a place of like beating myself up and feeling like sad about it anymore I was, but not anymore. It's not worth it. So yeah, I'm I'm not singing that song and I'm not just being complacent because I'm 40. I'm going to keep on living this good life and just have some grace with myself because I'm 40. And that's the difference. So, all right, guys, I want to hear it from you. Would you say it is, it has been harder for you since you turned 40 to lose weight? Are the things that used to work not working anymore? I remember being in my 20s being like, oh, I'm getting a punch. few crunches, it was gone for sure. It was definitely easier back then but i'd love to hear your thoughts your experiences with the changes you've seen in your body since you've turned 40 and hit it to the fourth floor let me know in the comments below bye guys